very exciting and challenging. We don't have to eliminate seating positions. We don't have to limit the number of people that could be on the bus. The first diesel to electric conversion of a serving municipal bus in Canada is happening right now and it's about halfway done. The Milton Transit bus is receiving the overhaul here at MTB Transit Solutions in Milton. The bus was due for a midlife refurbishment, which typically involves obvious cosmetic spruce ups, but also more serious equipment replacement on board. We removed all the diesel components uh, and we're slowly installing the stuff that we can. So like the, the compressors uh, and getting the bracketry ready. We've got this area cleaned up um, with panels installed. Um, then on this side, this is the new electric air compressor that replaced uh, the one that was on the side of the diesel engine. Uh, we should be able to turn these around in about six months from start to finish. The company telling us they've made this kind of transformation before with funding from the National Research Council of Canada on this out of service bus owned by the company to demonstrate the concept. And this has been kind of like a demo. Yeah, this is our demonstration bus. A big part of this is to actually be a proof of concept for us. We'll just pop it up here. Strip everything completely bare back to the uh, the frame and the structure of the unit. We have main battery packs on this particular bus. If we go in the bus inside the bus, does anything change? Inside the bus, the only thing that changes is the speedometer. We really wanted to make it so that it's easy to integrate back into the fleet. So inside of the bus, really nothing has changed in terms of how the bus operates. So all of the side components here, these old switches, operators, you know, door switches, wheelchair ramp switches, everything remains the same. The one change that we did that obviously stands out here is the dash. You know, we think this, uh, this technology, obviously here with the transit bus, we think we can also convert other forms of transportation. So we're looking at, we're looking at repowering transport trucks, mining vehicles, school buses, courier trucks as well. So we think this technology is very transferable other forms of transportation. Milton Transit says this comes as part of the town's plan to eventually electrify the entire bus fleet. It's taxpayer money. Uh, what, what metrics are going to will you be using to determine uh, if this is cost effective for for the taxpayer? Sure. Yeah, absolutely, and that's a great question. Um, you know, we always want to compare you know the cost of operating or the life cycle costs of operating vehicles, and so we will compare this vehicle, which will be an electric vehicle to a diesel bus and, and we want to compare the maintenance costs, the fuel savings and the fuel costs between the two. You know, for us, we want to make sure the technology is sustainable and sound, it's reliable. It will operate this bus as a pilot for about a year to test feasibility and cost effectiveness of both the retrofit itself and operating the bus moving forward. In Milton, David Zura, City News.